Welcome back to Good Morning La La Land on Transformation Tuesday. We want to hear all about astrology because all of us look to transformation <laughs> through that. So Susan Miller, she is, she's like the OG of astrology. She's the o- astrology zone for 22, 23 years wow. online. Um, next month, it'll be 23 years, December 14th. Oh my goodness. Sh- it doesn't feel that long. <laughs> what? And I write so much. She so writes so much. Mm-hmm. Over nine international magazines and some of the, the best were oh, El yeah. Vogue. Vogue Germany, Vogue China, Vogue Japan, and uh Amica Italy, Esmota Spain. Right. Just, they were all over. <laughs> so we want to hear like some golden nuggets. We we, we know yeah. you have the download literally on on everything from full moon to new moon to eclipses. But well, people really <laughs> want to know 2019. What do I have in store? Well, it's going to be a, a, a better year because we're going to be more productive this year. We had a lot of retrogrades from June all the way. Oh, we're still man, those retrogrades. Yeah. I'm tired from so, those. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, the universe builds up speed bumps mm-hmm. so that we have to slow down. We, as, as human beings, we want to hear that everything is new and we can race forward. But it's also good to look back. Now, you're a Virgo, right? Mm-hmm. Virgo loves retrogrades. They have more time to polish things up. They understand that it's part of the process. Mm-hmm. Uh, retrogrades let you go back to former people. Venus retrograde, you may want to go back to someone you're holding a torch for mm. that you always loved and mm. see if I it can't, works. I think about that. Don't reveal that camera. Yeah, they, they do have some frustrating parts. <laughs> But, you know, I was born very damaged, and it took doctors forever to figure out what was wrong mm-hmm. with me. And then when I finally went into the hospital, it was a year and three years of physical therapy every day for six hours. So I couldn't go to high school. I went to college. I just I had a weird kind of childhood. Mm-hmm. But it's what brought me into astrology. So there's there's always something good. I think my readers are surprised sometimes that it... There's challenges. It's part of life. It's supposed to be that way. My mother used to say, when you're in the ring boxing, that's when you're showing your character and what's important to you. Mm. And when you're sitting in the corner and the the man is putting the water over your head (laughs) and the towel, that's just rest so that you can go back in. And uh, the, the lovely thing about astrology is no one will ever have your chart again ever in time, space, Mm. geography, ever. And that means that your eyes are fresh and that you have to sing the song in your heart. Mm -hmm. The Mm. ascendant tells you what your profession should be. Mm. So you should have your chart done. You have to know your time of birth and then the astrologer can do a chart. But that rising sign is a big clue. And then what's on the midheaven where the 12 of the clock, that's your ultimate contribution Mm. to the world. So it it really helps give you a strong core. Well, you're you're ahead. (laughs) I'm so excited. This is a book A book What is that? What's a (laughs) book Meredith Publishing, who bought Time Inc., said we want 100 pages. We're going to put it, yes, in Barnes & Noble and Amazon, but we're also going to put it in CVS and Rite Aid and your, your supermarket all over America and Canada and in London. And we're also going to be online. I asked them to do a um, digital version for Kindle and iPad, and they so we never did that. I said, it's a good idea. <laughs> it's a great, so, idea. great idea. I love, though, that this is really like a chart and a GPS Yeah, the universe is giving us for 2019. I, I worked so hard since March. You know, my friends would go to the Hamptons. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right. You really have to be committed. You know, I would go so from true. one coffee shop to another. Like I finished Virgo, it's time for Libra. <laughs> <laughs> Just to have a little different place to work. But I think but, it's uh, interesting to note, too, that astrology is more about math. It's not about psychic abilities or intuition. No psychic ability. And, and even a psychic astrologer have to run away from them because they may not want to do the math. Mm. Now, Aries is going to travel far and wide and could go back to graduate school. The Tauruses are going to make money, and then money through bonus commission, um, some kind of chunk of money, venture capital, maybe even a prize winning. Don't bet the farm. <laughs> Don't bet too much. But I'll find the <laughs> Gemini has the best marriage aspects this year. And mm. if you say, no, no, I don't want to get married. I already am married. Well, in that case, your husband or partner will do really well, and through def- by default, you will do well too. Or you can use it for agent, publicist, any kind of collaborator, mm-hmm. even lawyer, accountant, 
anybody can use this collaborative energy writing partner you know here it's so wonderful everybody has a writing partner <laughs> uh, then cancer cancer has the best health and fitness they can lose that last five pounds they can get looking really wonderful they should start actually tomorrow jupiter goes into the place where i need it to be it will stay 13 months until wow. december 2nd 2019. so let's talk about that what does that mean exactly for 13 jupiter months? is mm -hmm. the giver of gifts and luck and he takes 12 years to go around the sun so he spends a year approximately in each sign of the zodiac in each each uh, house uh, rules a part of life so for cancer it's it's health and fitness, but it's also work projects. Mm -hmm. Cancers like to be self-employed, so that means lots of customers will be coming and business will be brisk. Mm -hmm. So it's really good. Leo has actually won the jackpot. They have the best love aspect. That's my son, no <laughs> <laughs> Best love, creativity, and children. Actually, ah. people ask me about babies, mm -hmm. and that's my number one question. Can well, I have a really? baby? Yeah. I've frozen my eggs, things like that. And, and Leo has the best chance. Virgo, it's real estate, real estate, real estate. Well, mm -hmm. this is the time where the space is. You can move to a new apartment, mm -hmm. new house. You can sell. You can buy property. You can buy a vacation house, or you could renovate new kitchen, or just buy some beautiful pieces of furniture. Mm. You probably get them on sale because you're lucky. <laughs> One thing is, lucky. when I tell you about each house, never settle. Only. Take your dream situation. Big windows, sun, a view, and nice closets. Must okay. have. Mm -hmm. Must have. <laughs> Libra has an interesting one. The ancients felt that communication was so important that they put communication in its own house. This is the year for, for Libra to write the screenplay, write the book, write, have a podcast series. Um, anything in the area of communication they will become more sophisticated mm. in this area mm. so uh and be successful and learn a lot if you feel gee i want to go for that but maybe you need a little education take a weekend course do something sometimes the teacher helps you mm -hmm. oh get the gosh. connections scorpio i know you were the celestial favorite last year you have to take your crown and give it to the next sign we have to share but you have money different money than the tourists you make money through salary lots of money this is the best money year in a decade wow sagittarius now you're the celestial favorite i'm not going to give you one area that you'll do well it's all areas Boom. You know? wow. i've been waiting for that she was teasing it out man i was like it's gotta be and you know be what the, time. the show is sagittarius right you said you were born we december were born 4th, december 4th. Ah. my mm -hmm. website astrologyzone.com was born september uh, december 14th so we're all going to do really well. Yeah, we're we're happy to see that. Well, we could talk to you all day. <laughs> yeah, we could talk to you for eternal, eternal, eternal. Eternal. Everyone should read my uh, November forecast on astrologyzone.com, and they can get the full okay, great. information. Perfect. So, yeah, so what, what I was going to ask is how can people find you through astrology? Mm -hmm. Anywhere else they can find you? on? I've seen you on Instagram, of course. And well, no, else. Twitter at oh, Astrology Zone. Mm -hmm. I love Twitter. I have 414,000 on Twitter. I know I have to get into Instagram, too. It's just that Twitter is short. You're yeah. Yeah. Some more uh, questions. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, so much. So thank excited you to read so that. much mm -hmm. for the guidance that you've shared with us thank for you. so many years. We're so grateful for your time and <laughs> your oh, life. Stay tuned. We'll be back in the morning, Lala. <laughs>